Hey there, how's it going? What is up, everybody? Irish Orangutan is back to pass along what you need to know to get better at Madden and grow your Mutt team. Enjoy the show. We are back again. Theme Diamonds were coming and they have um, arrived. It is very exciting to see everyone's favorite players um, from the past come out. Some of these players are a little bit better than others at least on the surface I will be putting out a video going over the 12 that you potentially should look at getting um, again you should be very focused on your team as these players will be quite expensive for a little bit uh, but today just wanted to take a no money spent look at this and how I'm going to potentially attack this what you kind of want to do um, and some of the things that I definitely have done in the past and um, what can be successful for you. If you are no money spent just starting off completing all of the sets and flipping Kurt Warner might not be the ideal situation or thing that you really want to be doing so you might want to look more closely at specific sets and potentially just work towards those, sell those off um, with each of these sets it is very exciting you get um, the power up for this particular player so you can get him up to um, that 85 for um, Lofa Tatupu and then potentially use his 87 to get him up a little bit higher probably to an 88 because they like doing the plus ones and then you will then be able to get them all the way up to 90 overall, which is kind of exciting. Um, when you do complete these sets, you don't get the training for them to um, kind of help you out with that path. So that is a little bit of a negative. And then the other thing that you do acquire is the completion token. Um, do have um, these two players are in their power up sets, but I think I have all these except for Doxon because I have his newer card and then Keenum I need to work towards as well. Um, but very much looking towards a Clinton Portis. If I would have been on earlier in the day and had a few more coins put together, may have tried to flip a few of these players, um, just monitor um, or put together what the overall cost for these would be, and then look at um, the Clinton Portis power up and his theme diamond, and then just kind of look and what they're going for on the market. Um, the main thing for no money spent is don't try to put these all together in one sitting. Go through them. Make sure you get a good value for each one of these cards. You will definitely understand that quickly um, as you, of course, it's going to take me straight to that card. Uh, we'll look at Kerrigan. Um, you'll just um, start to figure out what a good value is. Um, with this being 10000 lower, I really should know <laughs> what values are, so I should be able to grab that. Excuse me one second. I really did sound like a dink there for a minute. Um, 83, 27. Yeah, I definitely should have grabbed that. Um, when you see something that's 10,000 lower than everything else up and there's a pretty steady mark, you should potentially look at that as a good option. Um, definitely should have figured that out without having to look at it. So that would have been a good opportunity to get this set done a little bit less expensively. All the cards that do go into these sets will have risen today potentially, um, but there are cards, uh, I can't think of any that don't fit into Washington's Brandage Graph, I guess is the one that does not go into the set, but they seemingly have taken out one or two of the more expensive players for these, so we'll look at the Rams. Um, the obvious most expensive card would be Aaron Donald. They have a lot of other elites, um, so they're taking away the most expensive one to make this a little bit less expensive for you to get done. Um, I have looked at these. Um, it is going to their potentially highest elite, um, but it'll be around 87. Um, I don't believe any of the 88s go in. So oh, another big note about that if you are looking for an 88 overall that you've been wanting all year, they potentially have dipped. I picked up a couple of Tom Brady's just for training because a lot of people were hoping for him to go into the sets and then they realized they didn't, so they all tried to dump him because they realized the price for him was going down. So that helped out immensely and helped out with my coin stack because I was able to flip things pretty well there. But again, as you can see, it goes down at the bottom to those 70 overalls. So it'll be about 87 to 70 overalls with a couple of those pieces missing. So the best way to look for those is really going into 
these sets. Uh, this will take you straight to the auction house, and as you saw with the Washington Redskins set, almost all of those were filled in, and I just had to select the player, um, as you saw with Adrian Peterson. So it's kind of a happy accident because you saw how it actually worked. So again, for each of these theme diamond players that you will have acquired, you get their power up and then their theme diamond will have that times three chemistry for them. That will be something you have to add if you go through the power up process, but if you just go through this process, you will not have to add that necessarily um, at this point in time. It is very expensive for each of these cards, so if you don't want a piece immediately, I would definitely sell off at least a part of it and try to acquire it later on in the auction house. Potentially use the power up um, now, get them up to the highest level that you can, sell off the theme diamond, and then buy the theme diamond back in a week. That would be a decent option, especially for the no money spent, because that will help you with your coin stack and kind of alleviate what the cost would be, and you're able to play with that player now. Um, then again, once you uh, complete one of these sets, you get that completion token, and then you're able to put that into the master, which is Kurt Warner. He looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, definitely going to be a pocket quarterback, but he is going to be someone that absolutely sets himself apart with what he's able to do. Again, with some of these cards, you just have to look at what their abilities are as well. Um, each of these cards do get to that 90 overall with their power-up, as we discussed earlier. So a lot of them kind of even out um, and are the best player in their position. But if you get them all the way up to the 90 overall, that'll take a lot of training. And training did dip slightly today, but it is still way too expensive to be um, flying through that power up process unless you have a lot of coins and if you are no money spent it might not be the best option for you. One more thing I did want to note with these overalls and potentially getting coins back like we have in the past the coins back does not come for those players. The overalls for these players are based on the elites and players that you'll have to put into the set. For the bills, they don't have a lot of elites, so they'll just require you to put in a lot more gold. They just have Micah Hyde. He's the only elite that goes into that set. So there's 35 of them that will go into the set, and they're assuming those 30, excuse me, 33 um, golds that'll go into the set um, will be less expensive than trying to acquire seven elites like for the Rams. So for that, they will be putting um, a little bit lower of an overall on these players. So if you're just using that specific player, you won't be able to get him quite as good as he potentially could be. But again, if you want to use the extra expense to make your player better, you can do that and get him to that 90 overall. But you'll just have to use that cost of training. So they did even things out very well. Um, I don't know if it's even if you got a kicker necessarily. Um, but we'll be, I will be discussing the 12 best players, but did want to cycle through these like I did earlier. Um, all these players didn't necessarily play for one team. So like... Elam, um, I believe, kicked for the Falcons as well, so you can have him for another team for the Redskins. They did have Antoine Randall L, and we'll get Andre Reed like they did last year. Um, and then, of course, they have Clinton Portis, who could be the top running back coming out of this, depending on what you need. So acquiring these players, we did talk about the auction house. If you just know you want to go through a whole team and don't want to go through the set, you of course can just go through, pull up whatever team you want, and then just start going through their golds and elites. But just make sure you do know exactly which elites and potential golds go into that set and which ones could be missing out. Um, the ones that will not need to go into the sets are the core rookies, power-ups, uh, legends, things like that. They will just be the golds and elites from each of those teams. Um, so that is a good way to go about potentially getting them as well and a good way to kind of get around them, um, including Mutt Superstars. So none of the promo players, um, veterans, heavyweights, flashbacks, the signature series, of course, uh, those players will not be going into these sets. Another way of acquiring these players, the very slow way, but potentially the most economical, something that I did do last night to prep a little bit was acquiring some of these players. If you get a rookie, don't want a rookie, especially a silver. 
So you just put that into the exchange set. Uh, a lot of power-ups have diminished in price today, so that is a little bit of a sad deal. So again, if you really want an elite player's power-up that you haven't had, um, or haven't been able to acquire, excuse me, throughout the year, this is a good time to potentially do that. It's not the best time to go out and actually get these themed diamonds unless you absolutely want to play with this player today because the prices will go down. This is a tremendous time to actually go out and get the players that have came out in previous promos. If you want the Lane Johnson because you think he's the best right tackle in the game, that car is not going to be looked at by most people. So it's a very good opportunity to go out and get that car. Legends um, going into tomorrow. Lawrence Taylor was a terrible decision for me to get um, this past week, but thankfully I was already able to get all the way through house rules. I did tremendously for me at least, um, or at least admirably in Weekend League, and so I was able to play with that player, and it just was something that I really wanted, and I was down to about zero coins, and I'm up to three quarter million. So there are ways to make coins in the game and get those players that you want, but. Um, you just have to do it a little bit more strategically when you are no money spent. Um, but we have gone through that enough. The player that, um, or excuse me, the pack that did come out with these players today um, was this pack um, that is specific gold team fantasy packs. You did get these when you potentially bought the game, depending on what level of the game. Um, depends on how many you did get to start the year. So looking at um, each of these. Um, this will be specific to your team. If you want to go out and try to get through um, one of these sets and truly believe that um, pulling packs is the way that you want to go about this, this is probably not the best way to do this for a no money spent person, but potentially the quickest way to go about doing this. Um, you, at least filling things out um, in the beginning. If you're looking for one specific player and you're hunting, probably not the best choice. Um, but just going through these, you'll be able to get some silver and then gold players again. I would trade in these players and just keep pulling them up. Um, they aren't really players that you necessarily need at this point. They aren't going into any sets. There aren't any um, tokens to build this year, so they are um, just pretty much negatives. But as you can see with this pack, there was not anything in it necessarily that um, will benefit me. These players were going for an uh, enormous amount earlier today, so they would have been great to have at that point. We are really hunting for the elites, and if you don't get one, you really will have missed out. So just something to consider when looking through those. Definitely not the no money spent route to get them. Really love him as a budget running back. Has some pretty solid speed. Um, has the same speed as Deuce McAllister, uh, but definitely not the tracking of Deuce at all. Um, so those are kind of the ways that you can acquire these players. Um, again, going through the set and purchasing them is the best way that I would go about doing that. Of course, um, they have um, allowed us to go through and play some solos slash challenges for these. Um, looks like there's 18 challenges on that side. So they must have 18 players on offense and 14 players on defense. I didn't actually recognize that discrepancy when I was looking through them earlier, but it looks like you'll have to play them in order. Um, can set it up on the three levels. If you're struggling with the game and don't really know what plays to call, you can play it easy, but really you can go through and play pretty easily on Pro and Arcade if you just pick up a couple plays. Um, that work really well or if you figure out your offense a little bit and if you have any sort of a team put together I really would start going at this level so you don't have to play nearly as many of these challenges um, if you're just trying to go over and knock out a couple of the bonuses while going through there and um, playing on normal it's not a terrible option either it's definitely what I would do um, on a side account I definitely would not mess around on hard with them but normal is a tremendous option for those as well um, for those, of course, we uh, need to look at the milestones so we know what we're actually playing for. Just have to go in and get one star for that Nat Gold, for that second Nat Gold. It starts to get a little bit more difficult. Um, 
I hope that these are things that you're able to choose which team um, should have played through one of these and gotten that figured out prior to this, but definitely will let you know very soon as I do play through some of those. Um, I do very much feel so that you'll be able to choose the team. Um, I'm actually going to play through one of them real quick. So we are back looking at that gold NAT and you absolutely do not get to choose it. So I'm happy I did not lie about that. But it is something that you can definitely play through. Sadly, you'll only be able to add... Cannot add him to a set. That's not good. I'm going to double check and make sure that's not true. Or that is true as well. Okay. You can add him to the set, so that is a huge bonus. Um, now you can see not just the 80 to 82 overall, but the theme Diamond Jaguars as well. But if you're not completing all of them and you don't want this player necessarily, you can put him into that set and have a little bit of value from that. So a way to get into... Um, Acquiring some of those things and figuring out what you need to do is going through the missions to be perfectly honest I think this is a terrible idea to have added this um, compared to the objectives When Farls and Kralo are looking through the menu They um, sometimes have issues and don't know exactly where to go and why things aren't working the way that they should and I completely understand the frustrations so it is um, a little bit strange that they have these here. It is very helpful to get you engaged and to get you started and to just kind of let you know what is possible. Um, so as you see here, earn your first theme diamond. If you just wanted to uh, pick your favorite player, um, you could go out and do that. You could buy at auction as well. Of course, you can just go out and buy the players flat out. You will not get the token. You will not get the power up will get the player so thankfully these players aren't nat so there are um, ways that you can acquire them that way should have picked up on that um, when I was describing what you could potentially do with them earlier but there are lots of different things you can do and then that takes you down to the master which you will have to start working through each of these sets for um, this is a good overview of being able to get to that as well to be perfectly honest it is just very clunky when you are trying to complete games and potentially have one of these challenges done because it won't take you to the game. So just one of those things, um, but very excited about this promo and that each of us was able to acquire someone that has played for our teams in the past and potentially a few of them as well if uh, a few of the players um, played for different teams and you're able to acquire those power-ups. To be honest, some of the lower overall players that probably won't be making my top 12 are at a reasonable price at this point and be a lot of fun to play with, so that might be something that I will think about doing, but I do think the price will continue to decrease, so just have to weigh that as an option as well. But I wish you all the very best, and hopefully you are able to get your favorite um, theme diamond or the theme diamond for your team, no money spent definitely is something that you should be able to do this year with all the help they are giving us and uh, some of the coin tips that you can pick up along the way. I wish all the best and take care. Thank you for checking into the Irish Orangutan channel. Keep coming back for more Madden knowledge. That will be consistent videos up every week so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to see them all. Come by Twitch to engage and hit me up on Twitter at Irish Orangutan. Take care and much love everybody.